another episode. I think it's episode three. Uh, sessions on the patio with the one G. And actually, we got to change that opening because we um, we got a new situation. <laughs> um, y'all don't seen them on the past on the past two episodes. Actually, you saw them on episode one and episode two, 316 interview. Welcome y'all again, Niggas Phoenix. He's actually the new co-host of Sessions on the Patio. So that's the big announcement. If you've been in tune with my Instagram today, um, I announced it a little while ago that we got a big announcement. And that was the big announcement. You know, bringing Niggas Phoenix on to the show. And um, Niggas, what you think? What you what you feel you gonna bring to the to the table? Hey man, we just gonna hey we gonna bring some good vibes. One, um, we gonna All bring right. some real conversation. So it's you know two just two grown men having some real conversation, man. Most definitely. And you know what I'm saying, having a good little session. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying, talking real life. We both grown. We both got families going through different things in life. And you know we just know it's people out there doing the same thing. So and we don't always as men we don't always get to have that conversation. And then we both love music. Man. You know what I'm saying? We can't, you know, we came together on business, ended up having the same love in music. So then we came back to business. So, yeah, so it's okay. only right. It's right. only right. So yeah, so that's so there you have it. That's the that's the new situation. So from here on out, it's sessions on the patio with the one G and the niggas Phoenix, and that's how we roll. Um, the last time we was the, um, you know we. We sat down, you know, we did a 316 interview. Right. Um, we were more so, um, we were focusing on, you know, the, the kids and things of that nature. And, you know, where's music going, as far as where you were going with your music, right. what we was listening to his music. And since the last interview, a couple albums don't drop since then. Um, Pusha T album dropped. I don't know if you had a chance to check that out. And Kendrick Lamar, uh, he dropped actually this past Friday. Right. right. Um, I, I've had a chance to check out both albums in its entirety. Both are real, real good albums. Um, Pusha T on a, on a five mic scale, I give it a four. Okay. I give it a strong four. You know. Um, Kendrick Lamar on the five mic scale. And I, I called this early in the in a you know on Spotify Live. Right. Uh, actually, yeah. um, I was in the um, in a room with B Dot Miller. Um I was in Ali. Um, I was in the room with them. And um I said Kendrick was gonna be the only rapper that I know that far as albums, not EPs and mixtapes, but albums. Every album is a classic. This is fourth album, I believe. This album is a classic, and it don't sound like nothing is out. Right. Like it's so it's it, it, it's almost like I was riding listening to a therapy session. Right. Like, oh man, it was a therapy for Black America. Yeah. That really what it was, man. It was it was man Kendrick Lamar, man. Just with his music, especially this album, he all it is is reflection. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Think about it. What? When the last time he dropped the album? It was like five years. About five years. Think. And he reflecting on everything. Yeah. He is. Everything is a reflection of what we going through because the one thing I feel about what Kendrick really does, and most people debate Cole or Kendrick. Um. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't know who's better. But I will say this about Kendrick. Even though Cole is conscious. Kendrick breaks it down to you so that you feel it when Ken you hear it. I look at it like Kendrick give you a different feel with his right. music. Like his animation. Like J. Cole, he he come from a uh they both in the same vein right. as far as lyrics and stuff. Like I couldn't I couldn't choose. Right, be honest. Right, like, yeah. Me neither, me neither, me, man. I like who the dopest, J. Cole right. or Kendrick. I really, honestly, it, would, it depend on what day it would be. It depend on what day it would be on. Right. But for the most part, I'm like J. 
J. Cole got more body of work, so you get more of a more to listen to. Right. But even though Kendrick don't have the body of work that J. Cole have, right. the body of work that he have is just it's like he, he give you listening pieces. Like you can't listen it's almost like you can't listen to his album and skip through it. You gotta listen to it. And it's like it's right. a it's a movie. Right. There you go. It's almost it's almost like a movie. Each album is really almost right. like a movie that you can't skip scenes. Right. You, you can't you can't you can't all right, I'm gonna go to the end and then go to the middle and then go back. You know. As y'all see, this really do be sessions on the patio for those who listen. You got a whole <laughs> pit bull right. in the backyard. Hey, and he and he do it every time. Every time. Oh, one show. <laughs> he do it every time. So you go back and look at the old shows, you'll hear him every time. One show, I'm going to bring him on camera. <laughs> one show, since he want to be in it. All the time. But yeah, like, um, but yeah, like Kendrick albums is like a movie every time. Like, my favorite song from this album so far is, um, I think it's called um, Daddy Issues or Father Time. I believe that's what it's called. Father Time. Ooh, like, oh, oh. Boy, okay, so that's the, with that, that's the, like, everything he said in that, most men, either daddy or uncle or big brother don't told him that shit. Like, you fall down, man, don't be crying. Get up, hey, stop that's all real. that. Hey, that's real, boy, it has. And, and you learn, they to, have. and you learn to be a sore, sore loser from your daddy. Right, hey. Like, uh, or your big brother, because if you beating him and you can't, if you playing him and you can't never beat him, you get mad every time you lose. Every time. And then they don't never make it easy on They embarrass you too. Dad, daddy, daddy or brother or uncle. Yeah, they're gonna embarrass you every time. Let me tell you. My my next door neighbor, since you said that right, my next door neighbor, shout out to Kill Simmons, man. Hey, always deal wood, baby. Um But no man, so he, you know, he was my brother was in the street. And it was my neighbor who was playing sports. You get what I'm saying? So he got me into sports because, you know, he, he ain't not there. So, but he a baller, though. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Gotcha. He, he a baller, though. So he doing his thing, no matter what sport he doing. So he got me into sports and music. A lot of oh, okay. music, a lot of diversity. My brother always loved music, too. So he always rapper, but you know what I'm saying? My neighbor followed that trend. Shit, that's all I did was listen to music. But, man... We'll go to his backyard, man. That, that joker beat me so bad, man. He got to him 21. Yeah, me and him. And he and he's six years older than me. <laughs> yeah, I'm so I'm losing every time. But get what, though? He wouldn't let me quit, though. When I finally beat him. But, hey, that's the reason why I don't give up on shit now, bro. One, my mama, and two. Because you're going to win. My step pops whooped my ass in basketball until I got bigger than him. Because, see, he would make me shoot jumpers. Mm -hmm. And I'm a horrible jump shot shooter. I, I swear, I have my, I'm free throw line in. Right. My three, free throw line and out, I suck. <laughs> and so, and then I ain't really get a growth spurt to like, I got I think my first growth spurt might have came eighth grade. I might have went from like five, two to like five, 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 six, somewhere around in there, mm -hmm. you know. Then I ain't get another growth spurt to like 10th grade. 10th grade, I went from like five six five seven to six two, like in months. So like that was so like from like nine to like fourteen, he got to dust in my head. nine to fifteen, like because he oh. cause, cause shoot number jumpers. Right. But then when I got bigger than him, I always like when I watch basketball, I always watch. Even though Jordan was my favorite, I always watched the King Elijah one. Cause I was always hoping I like to be. Elijah. I always, I was always hoping to be seven foot. Okay. I wanted to be seven foot just because I was like, man, if I'm seven foot, I don't want to be big like Patrick Ewing or Shaq. I want to right. be, I want to be slim like you know Hakeem. If I do get, you know, if I did would get that, maybe it'd give me David Robinson, like because okay. he would cut. Yeah. You know, yeah. if anybody don't know, do your history on your NBA. You know, you look at David right. Robinson. He was the first. To me, he was the first NBA star that I saw to literally hit biceps look like he was doing bodybuilding, like he was cut. Actually, like he was actually working out. Yeah, but he was in the Navy, though, so that's probably why yeah, he was like absolutely, that. Absolutely, absolutely. So, had a lot to do with it. So I was like, if I could have that, that body, but right. 
that type of agility and ability like Hakeem Olajuwon. And of course, I wanted to jump high like Jordan. Right. So I'm like, if you combine all that, who could stop? Me? So then once I got bigger than once I got bigger than my stud he was just about like five seven. Yeah, about five seven, five eight. You know, no taller than that. Right. So when I hit six two, I was just taking them in the post. And them same elbows he was giving me, I was giving it back to him. So then, you know, then I ain't gonna say he turned into the sore loser because at that point he like, all right, well, all right. you know, I guess the whole time to him it wasn't nothing, no, nothing to lose anyway. Right. Like to me it was just it something was, yeah. to gain. It was, yeah. It was yeah. everything to gain. Yeah. So when I finally did beat him, you would have thought I won a million oh, dollars. Well, absolutely, like, boy, absolutely. Like, he wanted to run it back. I ran it back. Right. Beat him again. You know. <laughs> then he did beat me the last time. So he yeah. got me. He got me the, the third game. Yeah. And then he went back to now shoot jumpers. And then that's when he that's when he dusted my ass. But boy, when we got when we go down in that post, it was a wrap. Like, <laughs> and then I ain't had no handles either. So that was another thing. Like when I had to put the ball in front of him, rip. He, he was just gonna take it. Rip, right. rip city. Yeah. So. But yeah, I like that song, um, Father Time or whatever. Yeah, like, I like, it. like I like that one. I like the one when he was talking about his auntie a man now. Like that was dope. Like I was like, wow. Like you don't really hear rappers talking right, about for real subjects for real. like that. Right. You know. I even like the one where it sound like it, to me it sound like a mixture of the scene from Poetic Justice with Tupac and Janet got the organ, mm -hmm. and the scene from Baby Boy. Yeah, with yeah. Jody and um, with Yvette, Yvette. Mm -hmm. where they got the art and, I hate you, Jody. Yeah, that, boy, that song hard. But that's exactly how relationships be, though. A lot of them toxic, at, them toxic mm -hmm. relationships, they be exactly like that, man. At the butt argument. Like Kendrick, yeah, he got a he got a classic yeah, album. You right, you right, though, man. That's he a, did. He the first album. He the first artist I know that dropped. I ain't because Jay Z got four classic albums, more than four. Right. Uh, Nas got more than four classic albums, but Kendrick is to me the first artist that I've seen his first four albums classics. Like I ain't never seen a rapper do that. They first four albums. Like right. Jay Z can't say his first four albums were classics. It's just straight classics. You know, like Nas can't even say his first four albums can't were classics. Say that. Nobody Drake. Nobody, even though these some of these guys got more album sales than right. Kendrick, none of these guys can say that they got four consecutive classics. Like nobody can say that, and he can. Um, but you know, listening to his album, and um, you know, just listening to the topics and stuff that he was talking about and things of that nature, it made me think of. I was just sitting around smoking and you know chilling, and it made me think of something. You know, like, and it really ain't had nothing to do with the album. I was just smoking and thinking. Right. You know, we all, you know, you got teenage nephews, nieces, our teenage daughter, sons. Right. You know, we've been teenagers before. Right. And, you know, I, me, I get to smoking, I get to thinking, I get into, like, sometimes thinking, like, biblical. Like, not so religious, but, like, back in the day in those times. Right. And I was just thinking like, you know, God he give you all these feelings and emotions and everything is for a reason, right? Like your body function the way it functions for a reason. Like, you know everything has a purpose. Like you have a certain age where you're gonna get underarm her. Where you're gonna start getting look, if you're a dude, you're gonna start getting that, that five o'clock shadow up under your up right above your lip. Come on now, everybody can't grow no mustache. E everybody can't, but you know. But, but you, guess what? Guess what? But it also is still accurate because it's because of whoever DNA they have shared, whatever reason they come from, then require. Yeah. It didn't need facial hair for protection. Oh, so it's in, you gotta think everything is through genetics, right? Genetics, but I'm saying it's through genetics, but it's through God too. Yeah, because it, 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 um, because it, well, speaking on like not necessarily genetics, but like the vast majority of people, like you know, you start to get body hair at a certain age. Right, right, right. You know, your body started to change at a certain age, which led me to think about this. All right, 
what age did you first like not what age did you like become sexually active <laughs> but like what age did you first think like in your body that you like man i want to fuck about nine all right about nine but I also had older influence too now. Okay. You also, always you always got to remember that. But I'm talking mean. about like body wise. No, that's not, what I'm saying. Like not, body wise. Not, not, like, not talking about like you love, you saw a girl and you liked her and you knew you liked. Her. I'm talking about like nah, body wise. I'm talking about like nine or ten. You you knew, like you knew it was ready. Nine, you was ready. Nine, nine or ten. All right. Nine or ten. <laughs> that's a bit early. That's, yeah. That's hey, but early. listen, hey. You from where I'm from? <laughs> hey, I, 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 get, I, I get, but I don't been where you from though. I don't, yeah, hey, I don't been that, down there in Millersfield. Like, get in a small town. Hey, we start early. Man. Early, hey, a lot of small cities start, start early, early, like that. Dog. Like, but like for the most part though, I tend to think like for me, I right. probably say around about about twelve is thirteen. But that, that, that's and what, what I mean, that's like normal, where, normal kids. Where I was trying to like pursue. Right. Like, not necessarily. I saw it and I was like, ooh, I had a little feeling. Right. You know, like, about 13, I'm going to say 13, 14 ish, I yeah. was like on the prowl. Uh, you know, like, I was like, you know, where them, where, 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 where them girls at? You know, right. like, mama would start, like, nah, oh boy, now, nah, where you going out? Where you trying to, why you trying to go around the corner? Why right. you trying to go down the street? Nah, right. stay right here. <laughs> you know, like, I need your dad yeah. to talk to you. Right, absolutely. But it led me to think that like most kids or most people, you begin to have those feelings and begin to try to act on those feelings around that 12, 13, 14, 15 ish type age. Right. Really by the time you hit 15, you probably already Right, no lost your virginity. Now nah, I ain't gonna say lost it, but you, you oh, want wow. to. Right. Are you thinking right. about it? Or is it, right. it's up it's for debate? So, somewhere in that line. It's up for consideration. Right. That you know. Okay. And so it made me think, like, damn, like, because you know, now we got so much things to tell you right, wrong, mm -hmm. things of that nature, you know. But it got me to thinking, all right, God make everything for a purpose. Right. So why why at that age do most people like that 12, 13, 14 age, get that that urge or that feeling to want to do that. And like not for nothing, think about this too. Everything that you that you need to do that, it begins to work at its full functionality by that age. Like male and female, as you can, you could definitely reproduce. you could reproduce yeah, you by that age. Yeah. Girl probably don't yeah. have a first yeah. cycle right. or getting ready to. Right. By that age, God probably don't figure it off, man. Figure it out, man. I can nut. Right. There you, go. you know, I can ejaculate. Right. You know. Absolutely. You know. Absolutely. So it's like it got me to thinking. I had on. Um, I asked somebody. I was like, Were we made? You know how they say babies having babies? Was God purpose? And I ain't, you know, like I said, I ain't super religious. Please, religious folks, don't don't shoot me down. I just got questions. Like, right. <laughs> you know, right. if I was to meet God today, this is one of the right. questions yeah. I got. Yeah. Being that we get those urges and the feelings and everything start to work at that age to be able to reproduce. Right. And to be able to do the actions to reproduce. Were we supposed to start reproduction and start doing this earlier than we were? Like, that, 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 that we are? Or yeah, that, that we, we are. Like, right. you know, like, so are we telling like, people to wait? Well, I think... Does it make sense why you should wait? Right. I think, I think it matters on the society that you're growing up in because you got to think about this. Back in those times when a girl turned 12 or 13, they was already married. You know what I'm saying? They, she was legal to marry an older man, and sometimes they were old men. You get what I'm saying? Especially when you're dealing with royalty. Now, see me, I, I, I say this. I ain't getting into like the age thing, yeah. Cause I ain't gonna front like that. To me, it's creepy 
Yeah, for oh, a grown ab- man, ab- for ab- a grown ab- man to want a, a right. young child. Absolutely. But I'm talking about merely like, no, but like but, if you in like middle school. No, but that's like that's, the that's kids still. just the same age. Like that's what I mean. Like in a sense, like. Like, cause I see like what you saying, like but back no, in that, them that's days, where it come that's from, what though. they did. But that, that's where it come from. Either way you look at it, that's where it's gonna come from. Because you know what I'm saying. If if you're living by the Bible now, I'm I'm gonna do like you know, don't cut me up, don't shoot me. Um, but I'm not very religious as well. You know what I'm saying. I do my praises though. You know what I'm saying. So, but in the Bible it says be fruitful multiply and multiply so you get what i'm saying you're you're gonna early and off so you, right. you 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 get what i'm saying you're not you're not being fruitful if you're not having babies if you're not you get what i'm saying multiplying i got you so if you live by the bible or if you're a christian and you you know what i'm saying you follow the bible if you're that type of religious person true um but shit as far as like you know age and age shit when I was growing up, that's exactly when we started. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like was really... Because, like, where I'm know. from, I'm from Chattanooga, right? Right. And, like, the school, the high school that I went to, like, we had a daycare on campus. Just because girls was coming in from, like, middle school, pregnant by the time school started in high school. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, we definitely had that. Like, immediate, like, you know, it's almost like... The, the, it's like they was waiting for a boy as soon as I graduate middle school it's up like you know and what I really think too will play a part in that kind of a little bit right. as far as the teen pregnancy thing right. not to jump off into that right. like, but I think will play a part in that a lot especially in the black community around about that age that's when your parents really trust you to stay at home by yourself mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you gotta date. <laughs> That is a idle mind is a devil playground. Absolutely. An idle mind for a grown person is a devil playground. Oh, so man. just a, a child. So then you got this child at home at 14. Mind you now, dude, if you're a boy, you probably just figured out you can ejaculate. You probably, you know, your right, your right, your right arm probably strong. Then you're right. left now. Right. You, you know, you was even at first. <laughs> now, now your right arm right. strong. Now your right arm ready. You know. If you're a female, you know, you got the tools to be able to, you know, you don't have mm-hmm. to cycle, you know, you may even, dis- she may have even done discovered, you know, mm-hmm. touching herself or whatever, you know, at that age. Yeah, I know, I feel funny talking about it too, buddy. <laughs> but like, you know, she might have done discovered that. So then right. she at home thinking, ooh, I want such and such next door. I've been scheming on. You know, at school, at right, school, right, at school, or, right. And Lord, and Lord forbid it'll be too hot and she looking at a grown man. You know what I'm saying? Or an older daughter, guy. So you know it all. Or an older guy, you know. Because right. think about it, you know. A lot of, I, I, I got sisters, you know. I grew up around nothing but women. So I know, like, right. women a lot of times, when you in middle school, they don't want the guy that's in middle school. If right. you in sixth grade, the sixth grade want the eighth, eighth grade. Eighth grade, all right. If right. you in ninth yeah. grade, you, you want to talk to the eleventh grader because the eleventh grader got the car. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Place, they yeah. can take you place. You know, if you in ninth grade, y'all both in ninth grade, y'all getting on the bus going everywhere. Uber, Lyft, you know. Right. But back in our day, it wasn't no it Uber, Lyft. Yeah, it was just a cab. Your mama came and got you. Yeah, your mama came and got you. <laughs> you called a cab. You got on the bus. Right. So you know, like I said, but at that age, you know, that's when your parents start to really, they really trust you. You know, they like, right. all right. You know, me, me, I can go out this weekend because, you know, such and such 14 okay, now, they, they, can, they, they got a phone they or they got the house phone. They know to call me if something happened. They know, you know, this, that, and third. And that's when, you know, you you be getting into stuff or just be regular work stuff. Mama might not even go out. Daddy might not even go out. They might just be at work from 6 to 4. Nine to five, mm-hmm. you know, and where, eleven to seven. You shit. know, and where, they, and where they used to have Big Mama watching. Big Mama don't got old now. Cause Big Mama was was sixty when you born. Now you're fourteen. She's seventy four. Right. You Damn. know, she ain't she. She tired. Right. She don't raise her kids and some of you. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> you know absolutely. She absolutely have. You know. She absolutely like, have. 
And that's if you the first grandchild, you might be the eighth, ninth, tenth grandchild that she don't had to watch mm -hmm. out to school and stuff. So, you know, she old yeah. now, so she ain't really keeping up with you like that. She like, yeah, go on, uh, you know, you might not have to go over right, down the yeah. house. Right. You might not right. have to go over there no more, you right. know. So, you know, it'd be at that age. But I, it just, it gave me a curiosity. I was just like, damn, like, was back in them days where, like, were kids, like, like, cause I mean, like I'm talking about back in the old old days, right, right, right. like where they just like, oh man, when they discovered that they did that, did they just start like getting it in with each other, like you hey, know? Yeah, that's crazy. You know, hey. cause you gotta think though, cause like I look at like a God gave you, He make everything work at a certain time for, for a reason. reason. Yeah. And yeah. so I'm looking like, all right, why not wait till like you 18 to be able to ejaculate? You know, uh, right. for the girl to get her cycle or uh, be able right. to produce babies. Like, right. it's just, what, four more years for a boy? Six right. more? Right. You know, <laughs> just to be, like, let's, say from, let's say from 12 to 18, that's six more years. So just six more years e either way. You know, I, I hit 18, so around 17, 18, so my body gonna get funny on me. Right. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, God could set it up, could have set it up just like that, but he set it up for, that time frame between 12 13 14 15 yeah. you you switch up dude's voice started to change yeah. you know you started them uh -huh. shoulders started to get out you know yeah. it just but but not for nothing that be the least of the worries yeah. at that age your children want to fuck like, I ain't gonna say your children, just children in general. Right. I ain't got no children that age. Children in general want to fuck. But they gonna get them. And it be like, man, like I said, in my mind, I'm thinking, like, you know, because I'm, I'm 37 now, so I don't, I don't been 14 right, twice. Right, right. You know, <laughs> at least twice. Right, at least. You know, so it's right. like, I'm like, damn, I'm like, why at 14 did I just all of a sudden get the urge to just, I don't want to play tag and hide and go seek with the girl. I want to play hide and go geek, but hide and go freak now. Amen. Amen. Like, you know, like. I mean, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, what yeah. triggered that? Like, Bruh, hey, not, I mean, on. not looking at stuff. Like, because, I mean, hell, I was looking at porn before, before I even wanted right, to right, fuck. Before you wanted it, right. Now. Like, so it wasn't, I don't think you, it just was Just seeing that. how it worked, yeah. Yeah, I, it, to me, it wasn't that. It just, now I want to do it. Like, like, mm -hmm. so it's just like I was thinking, like, now, like, what, what, you know, and I'm going to post that question to the, um, on Spotify. You'll be able to go in and comment on it. And you can also comment on it, comment on it under the comments as well on YouTube. At, at 12, 13, and 14, why do you think that all of a sudden you just get the urge to want to be sexually active? That's how I'm going to say it, sexually active. I ain't going to say want to fall. There you go. There sexually you go. active, you know. Right. Whether it be, you know, masturbation, whatever. Why is it at that age do you get that urge to do that? That's that 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 so anybody want to come in under that about that got an answer there is no wrong answer it's all opinions you know and I'm not talking about you know sexuality I'm not going there you know that's a whole nother right. line I'm not talking about you know statutory rape or none of that that's a whole nother line I'm just merely talking about because everybody, if you if you over if you don't made it to 18, you don't been 14. Why is it at that age, between 12, 13, and 14, do you get that urge? And some people may not have gotten that urge. And if you didn't, comment and and say that you didn't have that urge right. in that age. Tell me, you know, I want to know why. Because I, I want to like try to see what percentages, you know. Right. So, but I'm curious about that though. Because like I said, it was just about to pop in my head, like. Why at that age did 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 I did I want to fuck? Or, and, and just and you and like I said I think about like classmates and conversations that you will have like your homeboys be like they'll joke on let's say if you hadn't got none at that age oh man you, you ain't got none and they might not have got none either but they just might have right you know and then they don't know you oh man you ain't got none oh man you. Yo, man, you soft, man. You ain't got no, you ain't got no boom boom. You a virgin. Look, you don't even know what it smell like. They be on you. Now, I don't know what the pressure is with girls. I don't, I don't know how they go. They, 
I think with them it might be the longer you keep it, it might be a certain thing. I don't right. know. Now I'm gonna tell my baby, hey, but you can't even think about it, but you can't use your thing to you 21. I'm gonna see how long that one gonna go. I'm gonna tell them, both of them. I'm gonna be like, hey, y'all know, look, as a little girl, you're not supposed to use it until you're 21, okay? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But I ain't, I ain't gonna stop. I ain't gonna stop her from going out and having fun. I ain't, fun. Gonna, I ain't gonna say that ain't but, gonna work, man. Cause but, I want to manifest oh, that that's gonna right, work. Right, absolutely. But, but I'm still tell her that's the only thing I really want a lot of ever a lot of my baby about is is, is having sex. Like, baby, no, don't have it. Right. I'm gonna teach you about yeah, it. Yeah, but yeah, look, you, don't you don't lie to her. But her mama gonna tell her the truth. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You know, but I ain't gonna lie to you. You gotta you gotta take an effect too, though. You might be the parent that she trusts to tell her the truth. Oh, I'm be and and, and, so, and I have to do it. And so, if you the parent that she trusts to tell you truth, you can't lie to her. Right, that's true. Now, some of them kids be just, you gotta think your kids just like you. They gonna know when you bullshit. They gonna know. They man, dad's full of shit, man. He oh, just, my, he, my, he, my he baby just, will. He just, he just trying to, he trying to keep me innocent. You know, it's too much stuff out here now for them to just look it up. You know, mm -hmm. like we, like I said, we ain't had access like this when we was thirteen to fourteen. You know. Right. We weren't finna go pick up no book about sex. You know, for one, you ain't wanna walk out of no library with that book. Right, you know. Right. Oh, nigga, you don't know. You don't know what sex. Is. You don't know but what that not, is. What, what? You know what I'm saying? Just not even that. Just you know the the library. Right. Just you know what I'm saying. <laughs> that part. Like right. you know me, it just be the embarrassment of just <coughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like I ain't gonna lie. I used to be that. Like I like you know. I, some people be glad, like, you know, like, you a teenager, you know, college or whatever, you go go to the, you know, grocery store, gas station, whatever, you got to buy the condom. Right. Like, me, I, I, I was always the one that was kind of shy about it. <laughs> like, yeah, I'd be like, yeah, give me a black in my eye, you know, give me a lighter, manums on that. They be working with manums. <laughs> I be trying to... <laughs> <laughs> do what I do. One Give it a call, you Trojan. One of those. No, 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 no the purple. And then you always get the black. The purple, but then you the always black, get purple. somebody want to be loud. Mm -hmm. Oh, you off the blue? <laughs> like, man, just, just give me, you know, just give me them. Yeah. Right. Like, you got a line behind you trying to be quick about it. Like, <laughs> man, just give me them. <laughs> You try to race through it too. You try to see it real quick. Uh, you know. Yeah, that's how it be too. Like, right now, look. And then, you know, before before they put them behind the counter, you can get them off the shelf. Yeah. So you just. Well, see, the getting off the shelf part, you ain't mind. Because then it's just a matter of poof. You keep it moving. Unless well, you're at Walmart and you buying a box. And it's on the conveyor belt. <laughs> <laughs> you get those little top on uh, probably. Depending on depending on what you're buying. Hey, because once you put them on the goddamn counter, everybody gonna see it. Cause you ain't gonna just hand it to them. You gonna put it on the conveyor. And then you the old, you know what I'm saying? The old. Well, lady. you know what? That's that's if you're trying to be a show on. Cause you can't hide. No, but listen, you no, can't but hide. Nah, man, but cause you go in and get, get your, no, cause you can go in and get your little, the little basket thing. Get your, you know, you're a single. But look, but, 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 but in high it. school, in high school, are you doing it? You, you first, first of all, in high school, you going fast to get to the aisle, so nobody don't see you well, on see, the yeah, aisle. I wasn't in Walmart. In high you get school. what I'm saying? Miles Straight Gas Station, the <laughs> hey. Mini Mart, like that's where I was at with it. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't in Walmart. Like, yeah. going, you know, now, high, high school, you go to Walmart. You shoot Walmart. You, because ain't no sense of buying the little pack because shit. Yeah. In high school, boy, you going at it. I mean, at least, at least the people I know. Well, I don't know. I, I, I get, the, I, 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 get three, I get three pack box, and you know, I would hope to use three of them. But you know, I knew that I couldn't go home with leftovers <laughs> just because I couldn't risk my mama finding them. So it was like, man, hey, I can't wait. This three dollars, I can't waste this. Like, I can't. You know what I mean? Come on, boy, what you need these for? Nah, you ain't going nowhere. Like, <laughs> see, my my mama was a little different. She um, she you know what I'm saying? She gave me condoms like, hey, I don't look. Did her did her favorite thing to say? I don't want you doing it, but I know you're gonna do what you want to do in this situation. So mm -hmm. yeah, well, and she already knew. She was already working. Is she working? Like you said, she can't stop you. 
Somebody can call and tell them. Right. If I'm in my grandma. But she ain't finna leave her job just to stop you from. Well, get out there, boys. Right. She ain't finna leave her job for that. Listen, as long as you ain't getting in trouble. Yep. You get what I'm saying? As long as that girl daddy don't call me. There you go. As long as that girl mama don't call me. There you go. As long as that boy mama don't call me. There you go. As long as that boy daddy. You know, like, you right. know. Yeah. You know, now me, I ain't that parent. Like, nah, like, uh, uh-uh. <laughs> uh, uh-uh. we gonna keep you active. You gotta right. do something. Right. But no, I was in the sport. I played sports, but at, at one time, it was no sports to play. Well, we gonna find you a sport. <laughs> we gonna find you a chess club, a math elite, <laughs> something. We gonna do. We gonna do but, something. But you gotta think. We right? gonna get you into a stock market club. I'm talking about now. But I just say yeah, now because now, when, yeah, I, when, I was, when I when I when I was growing up, when no when nothing like that, no stock market club. Ain't no stock market no, club now. We'll make uh, one. Only thing you did <laughs> during the summer. Only thing you did during the summer was track. Mm. Either track or and then that was right around the time when summer basketball really came into play. And if you play sports and you play basketball, and, um, you know what I'm saying around the way. You'll go to your summer camp, you ran track, you ran track, you played football, you know what I'm saying? Summer workouts then start immediately. Yeah. And so then you really, have shit to do. And then really, we talk shit like we could really stop it, but honestly, you really right. can't stop can't, it. Man. Think about it, could your parents stop you? Do. The only way they could have stopped you is if they was at home when you got home from school and made sure you didn't leave the house. And even then, you gonna find a way in between what? school and people? home to try to do something. You don't think people still sneak in windows? Hey, you gonna find some. Even if you, I mean, even if you ain't gonna sneak it at home, you gonna find a way. You know, you gonna. I'm, I'm over cousin such such house. Cause such such mama them might be cool as fuck. Mm-hmm. You know, such such them un- un- uncle might go out that, on the that, weekend. That, that the cool mama. That the cool you know. mama. Hey, and auntie, auntie, auntie might take your mom out this weekend with her just to get her out your house. Because she, hey, she know you want to wild out a little bit. Hey, you look, know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all don't get in trouble. I it's always you. it's always one auntie. Make sure y'all don't get in trouble now. Well, I had a cool but, auntie. I could tell her everything. I could tell her everything. God God rest her soul. My auntie know. I could yeah. tell her everything. Boy, she she died with a lot of skeletons. Yeah, but a lot. Well, I mean, you right. know, but not, but not her, my skeleton. Right, know? right, right. You know, she you. took it to a grave. You know, right. like, like, boy, I, boy, I be in high school. I call, tell stuff. She tell me, like, boy, you better slow down. Don't do this, right. do that. You know, boo, boo, boo. Because you know, right. you try to, you can have that conversation with your parents, but at the end of the day, real talk, that show, they still your parents. What you the you the oldest? I'm the middle. You the middle? Okay. Oh, you know the middle child. I always held. See, I'm the baby. So my life, you know, that, that was so oh, crazy. Oh, baby be like, wor- worse than the middle. Oh, just, nah, oh, yeah, here, here we go with it, here we go with it, man. See, by the time mama get to y'all, she here, tired. Oh, she tired when she get to the back. Unless, nah. unless she had y'all <laughs> back to back to back. Unless y'all like nah. two two years apart. If y'all Dang. three years or more apart, by the time she get to that third, by the time she get to that last one, it fuck this shit, man. <laughs> Straight up. There it is. Because think about it now. She don't told the, the first child get it. You know what? I got you. You the example. If I, if, if they see you, they gonna do the same. So you know, first child get it. Then then you know the middle child gonna come around and do the same stupid shit the older child did somewhat sometimes. So then they gonna get that. Well, by the time she don't told don't told the middle and the middle child really get it. Cause see the older child might get it quick and just be like, all right, I'm a chill. But that middle one gonna be hell on wheels. Right. You know, always. That's just the way it go. And right. then you and really the parent be more focused on the middle one because everything that they didn't do right with the oldest one, they right. make trying to make sure they do right with the middle one. Right. And in that process, the, the youngest one just getting away with murder because they know how to do all the wrong shit right by watching the oldest two do the wrong shit wrong. You know what I mean? Oh like, no, oh no, oh and no. And then and then by the time you get to so by the time you get to the baby, now one not only is the baby the most sneakiest, but then even when you catch them, you tired as hell. Cause you don't did the same thing for the oldest two motherfuckers. <laughs> well, let me say this. <laughs> Dead ass. In defense of the babies around the world. So all the baby child, the last child around the world, hey, that is not true. Every middle child know they get the most work. Listen. The middle child is what wear the mom out. Straight up. The middle child wear the mom out. I know I wore my mom out. 
know. I she think, was at school every day I, for I, my ass. I think my brother was my mama the first round. <laughs> Sometimes it be like that. Hey, but look, but look. Hey, I know. I think you know what though. I think the second child. By you right. The second child. By the time she got finished with my brother and my sister, man, going up to the school, but they hey, they were hell on wheel, but check this out. My mom was gonna ride for they ass. My mom was gonna go in there and fight the bus and keep them in school. Hey, long as she could. And they were gonna hey they and they were gonna act bad every chance they could. But hey, but Mine wasn't more so keeping me in school because I ain't really just do shit to just get you throw, throw it out. Like, I get to fight in school every now and then. I mostly just get the... Mine was more verbal. Oh, nah, they were doing crazy shit. Mine was more verbal. <laughs> like, my fights was going to happen out of school, like, off school property for the most part. Like, when we get off the bus, shit like that. Every hey. night, I got, I would get into at least one fight every year in school from, like, I'm going to say from, like... I'm gonna say from like third grade to like eighth grade, I got into at least one fight. Now, by the time I got to ninth grade, I wasn't fighting in school. I was getting suspended for maybe cussing out the teacher or some shit, you know? I don't think I got into a fight after like. I never really had to fight people, to be honest with you. After the, like the little elementary fight, but OJ fight between friends, so I don't really take that. You ain't really got no beef from them. Just be from nobody with the other side of town or whatever, right? Call more people your friends anyway, right? So I didn't really start fighting until I got to college. You know what I'm saying? Call from middle school to high school. You was you got grown ass man and start from, from but from middle school to high school, you know what I'm saying? I was playing sports, so I was cool with everybody. I got I ain't, you. you know what I'm saying? I, I'm playing I'm playing sports with everybody from every side of town. So you know what I'm saying? I ain't really. I ain't really into beef, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, hey, yo, I'm just trying to play that ball, man. But I fuck with y'all, cause I grew up with y'all, so ain't shit never changed for me, right? Mm -hmm. As far as the way I feel, right? But when you get to college, I got other people beef solely because I play football. Oh, cause they want your position? No, no, oh. no, no. I ain't fight my teammates. I'm talking about anytime we got to fight on campus. Oh, okay. Anytime anybody on. So it might not be your direct. It beef. ain't my. It ain't man. It now, is, see, my shit, when I got to high school, it would be direct B. Nah, I ain't. And it, but I it would be old. But I ain't going to lie. A lot of times, my mouth will get me in the shit. Yeah. Just because I'm opinionated. Like, somebody right. might say something to me, and I'll say something back. It was it. I was always defensive, though. Right. It wasn't, I, I wouldn't start shit with people. You know, I wouldn't just see you and be like, oh, bitch ass nigga. Like, I wasn't that type dude. Never have been. I tell right. people, I ain't hard. I just stand on my own team, though. Right. You Absolutely. know, you I always that. have. You know, but. It would be my mouth that got me in the shit. Like, right. nigga might say something to me and I say something back. You know, sometimes I say something back and don't even want the problem. Be like, man, I don't even really want to fight. But, you know, shit, I don't jump out there and say this shit. Now, nah, we got to fight. Like, you know, like dead ass. Like, right. and me, honestly, I can honestly say, I, I've never gotten into a fight where I just, you know how you be mad, like crying mad. When I be like that, nobody would ever fight me. I be like some chill shit like this. Nigga say shit, I say some shit, and I don't think some shit gonna happen. Right. And they walk up and now we fighting. Like, you know, <laughs> it be some shit like that. Oh, some cool shit. Yeah, like, oh, we might already have beef. Like, it be an underlying thing, right, uh, right. but we in each other's space, right. so we gotta coexist. Right. Like, we might be in the classroom or some shit, so we gotta right. coexist in the classroom, right. but we in there saying slick shit, you know. Everybody in there joining, so if somebody say something funny about you, you don't like me, but somebody, and I don't like you, so as soon as somebody say something funny about you, I'm going to laugh. I'm right. going to laugh the oh, hardest. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to laugh the hardest, so you see me laughing at you. Right, I'm hoping, so you know I'm laughing. So, I'm, so now I'm, I'm putting fuel on the fire, and I'm hoping yeah. you say something, <laughs> you know, or vice versa. Right. You know, somebody might crack a choke on me, and the nigga might laugh the hardest, right. and, you, and you looking like, nigga, I don't even like you. Why are you laughing at me? Yeah, but, might, but they be wanting it. That, that, that that's when you be wanting the problem, though. That might be some Sagittarius shit. I don't know about that, though. Cause I I feel the same way. I'm, a, I'm. That's why I said, man, I kill ants with sledgehammer, man. Cause if I don't like you, boy, I'm gonna go to. And an ass no, whooping won't make me right, like you. Right. Like right, you can beat my ass and I get up and be like, "Fuck you, bitch!" It like still, like no, if, if I don't like you, man, I, I, I don't really, like you. Oh yeah, I'm going on. So. If we cool, we cool, but I ain't gonna never sugarcoat not liking somebody. If I don't like somebody, they really gonna know it, cause I'm gonna go, 
Ain't no olive branch. Ain't no shaking hand. Ain't no love, dog. Well, I ain't that bad. Like, if oh, I don't, no, I'm that bad. I don't, if I don't like you, if you ain't did nothing to me, because some people you just don't like. You might just don't like their ways and shit. Right. And, you know, if I don't really fuck with you, you know, you can be there. I can be here. Or we can be in the same space. Just don't fuck with me. I ain't going to fuck with you. Right. You know. Right. That type shit. Like, don't give right. me a reason to have to have a confrontation with you. Right. I don't want, I don't even want a reason. Right. Even though I don't like you. Right. You know. But now, if it's some, some shit you don't did to me. And I don't like you. Depending on how bad it is, it might just be one of them type of things where it's on site every time. Yeah. Like now, being grown, I ain't really got nobody yeah. that I don't just like like that. You know, being grown now, if I don't like you, you over there, I'm over here. We ain't got to coexist. Being because I ain't finna crash out anyway. But what? Being grown, if I don't like you, but you. Oh, hey, you don't, you don't pay my bills. I ain't, boy, I ain't gotta see you. I ain't gotta look. We could be right here. I ain't. We could be coworkers. But what? I walk in that as long as you like, don't mess up my money, I'm straight. <laughs> walking that bitch, you, you like, know, I know me. You, you know how I was when we worked together. Hey, as long as you don't mess up my money, I'm straight. Absolutely. You mess up my money like now, we gonna tear that bitch up. We finna go. On we finna way. yell, argue, all that. <laughs> yeah, your ass ready to fight by Bro, that shit. Hey, shit, work too hard, man. You work too hard, man. I'm supposed to playing with you like that, playing with your money, you know. But yeah, man, you know. <laughs> These days, I, I say all that to say this, to, to, to double back on what we were talking about with the, you know, the kids being, getting the feeling to be active early. Right. I say that to say this too, as parents, you know, or adults that's around kids, like you might be an uncle, a, a big, big cousin, you know, because right. sometimes your cousin ain't necessarily your age. You might be right. 10 and your cousin 20, Right. you know, like put the youngsters up on game properly. Right. Like, tell them the, right. Like, the right shit. Right. You know. Yeah. There you go. You know. I'm with that. Like. I'm with that. You know, tell them what really come with fucking. Like, don't just yeah. tell them, hey, fucking, hey, yeah, man, shit, dog. God, wait, dog. You can't wait to get wet, dog. You got to get wet, right. right. girl. You right. can't, hey, you can't wait to get your one splat, did, did that. Like, tell right. them the real shit about it. Like, yeah, you I'm know, boy cousins, tell you girl cousins what well, niggas think. Girl I'm cousins, familiar. put your boy cousins up Give on game. game. Give you know, game, like, know. That it worked both ways, really, you know, right. like, but tell each other the right shit. Like, uncles tell your nieces right. the right shit, you know. Yeah, tell your daughters. Aunties tell your nephews right. the right shit. Tell your daughters the right, right. shit. Absolutely. Tell your sons the right shit, Absolutely. you know. Make them smarter, man. Right. Don't, make, don't make them, you know what I'm saying? Because if you don't give them that knowledge, man, somebody else will. And the one thing the internet I, gonna give it right. to them nowadays. But the one thing I learned about my young daughter, man, and I wanted to have the, the you know, the Christmas talk and the religious talk and the the Jesus talk first. But when she come home with it and somebody else beat me to it, it's harder to explain what's real because my daughter is five and three, four years old. She knew that Santa Claus was a, well, when she, you know, they was like, you know, Christmas and Santa Claus. And I had to explain to her who Santa Claus really is and what it really meant. Mm -hmm. Because I know, I know it's going to be a lot of people don't agree with that, but my baby won't be one of them. She won't be one of them that, that that's going to, she's not going to over, she's not, she's not going to over, um, what, what I want to call it, emphasize on Christmas with people because um, now she know, cause she knows because she she knows what's going on now she still had an option to celebrate but you get what I'm saying and, and, give, and give gifts but at the end of the day but, she know dad and mom give my gifts right but she gonna understand and the sooner you t the, the, the 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 but ain't nothing wrong with that though the faster you, know you what, start though. the faster you start let me, let me, let me I know but give me one second the faster she understands life the better she's able to be able to really actually move through life yep. because we talk about money we talk about being rich and we talk about being wealthy you get what i'm saying my daughter knows what the difference is she knows that the goal is to be wealthy not rich okay. because rich you can go broke when you wealthy you have it for generations yep. and she's at five years old and that's what we go over. you get what i'm saying mm -hmm. because i'm just trying to have a knowledgeable child so I, and as you go through school, you learn. 
it ain't, it really ain't. Like people in AP class, yeah, they move a little faster, but it's also what they was taught earlier at a younger age that made them more advanced mentally. Yeah. So they're thinking and analyzing faster and quicker at a younger age. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Because I can attest to that because my auntie was a teacher and both, both of mine, and you look at teachers, man, all the kids gonna be smart and they all gonna be advanced. You know why? Because what you, but she, the teacher teaching ninth grade and her daughter five learning ninth grade. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Look, nah, the, the thing is, too, with that, a teacher know how to teach variations of different people. Because right. every student ain't the same. Right. So her daughter or her son might remind her of little Bobby in this right. and how she taught she little Bobby. Because most ninth grade teachers ain't taught ninth grade their whole time. Right, right. They don't oh, yeah. talk oh, yeah. they don't talk through the ranks. Right. They don't right. went elementary development. Middle, yeah, yeah, high, development. some of them, a lot of them, you know. Right. And you know, like I said, you teach different variations. So even on a high school level, you might see a person on a high school level that reminds you of this person that you had to teach this this way in, in right. elementary school or maybe even the year before just right. because they remind you of a different teaching style. But I say that to say this, even with that, you know, to wrap it up, I, I say, like, you know, the reason why I say talk, you got to talk to talk to these kids at that age because it's like, you know, that's the age that they're starting to participate in this stuff. Right. right. And and they're, they're starting to, not for nothing, if we were meant to be active at that age, right. somebody should at least give them knowledge of what comes with being active at that age. Right. Or, you know, because, I mean, I ain't encouraging it. At all, like you just, you just, you just promote, but it's you, just promoting. It's just seeing what's right. happening, right? That, you, you know, you looking at right. me. I look at how, like, what I grew up around. Like I said, we had a daycare on campus, right? Not a daycare that had three or four kids in there, right? A daycare that had a lot right. of kids right. in there, cause right. a lot of girls was having babies in high school, yeah. coming into high school. We them. gotta really promote and, education. Not, not, and let's not just say have girls having babies because they need. Right. They, gotta, they, be they got to be somebody else. They got to be a father. Right. Got to be somebody else. There, there, were, there were kids. Right. There were teenagers having babies. Right. So it's like we gotta. You gotta make sure that you talk to talk to the youth, and make sure you just putting the right message out there. Because right. they gonna hear the wrong message. The wrong oh, yeah. message Absolutely. is in the, a lot of the songs. And I ain't even message. hear the, the, the criticize the people who put the message in the songs. Because right. they really, not for nothing, your artists that make these sexual, extra sexual songs, they not making it for your 12 and 13 and 14 year old people listening to. Right. They're making it for your 21, 22, 23, your 18 year old. They're making it for that age gap. Right. But it's just music is a lot of time the popular music is ran yeah. by the youth, right? You know, and the youth is the one that tell you what's cool and what's not, you know. So they the one listening to it, but it's not necessarily being made for them, right? You know. So when you got a when you got a child that listen to uh, a Meg the Style, you know, the baby. Uh, Lil Nas X, they look at his videos and see things of that nature, you right. know. Right. Or uh, you, uh, you know, just, you know, right. stuff anybody. like that, right. anybody. Right. You know, growing up with us, it was Lil' Kim. Right. You know, you had Lil' Kim, Boxer Brown. Too Short. Boxer you know, Brown. Too Short would go to the Yeah, you know, 3-6, you know. Yeah. So, you know, Adina Howe, people like that, you know. Right. You know, Adina Howe. <laughs> hey. You know, Woo. things of that nature. Right. But, you know, I feel like now it's just more important being that everybody has the right in their hand. It's important to just talk to the kids more. So, you know, with, with that being said, just make sure you talk to your kids, talk to, your, talk to the youth that's around you, and educate them. That way they'll feel comfortable coming to you. 
You right. know, and if they don't right. feel comfortable coming to you, find out who they feel comfortable talking to and put the bug in their ear. Hey, look, right. man, such a gentleman. Y'all hang out, talk to them about this and see where they mind at. Had you know, conversation. you ain't got to come back and tell me. Just have a conversation. Make sure you tell them the right thing, though, you know. You know, I don't want them to not know, but they might not listen coming from me. They might listen coming from you. Right. You right. know, and, yeah. and just, and, 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 and they do. And, and be that, be that vessel, you know. Absolutely. But with that, with that. But until next time, I'm Dewani G. And I'm Niggas Phoenix. And this is Sessions on the Patio with Dewani G and Niggas Phoenix. Y'all catch y'all next time. Peace. Right. Yo. Yeah.